I'ma hit y'all off with my usual, you know what I'm saying? I'ma tell y'all about the song, how it was developed and things like that. Then I'ma go into a little Q&A. Alright y'all, we in the lab. We got me, JC, aka Kango Kid, finna break it down. I got a new release that's finna drop called Getting Money. This one finna go hard. We got Getting Money that's getting ready to drop January 25th. We got my new single, Getting Money, is getting ready to drop January 25th. Bless the bottle, my nigga. So basically, man, I've still been doing my thing, making music. And I just felt this rhythm, this vibe, and it started flowing when I was making the seven set beats. Came back to this beat like a week or two later. And they started talking to me. Once they started talking to me, man, I started trying to speak this language you know, called manifest. We on this messed up frequency anyway that's allowing us to see poverty. So bottom line, I want people to be able to unfold their way of thinking, like, you know what I'm saying, be open-minded, you know, and understand that it's a possibility that the way you think causes you to be in a post situation. It doesn't only reflect your way of thinking, but it also reflects the way you used to think when you got certain people in your circle. So like, the way I thought when I was 17, some of them people still my friends to this day. However, as the thought process started growing, going on a different page, some people just fell back. You know what I'm saying? And it just does it on its own. It's a positive thing. But when you got people in your circle and you thinking money, and they all not thinking money, they thinking like, man, we broke. I'm tired of being broke. You know, giving acknowledgement to your poverty, your impoverished situation, you know, shit like that, then that really like pulls you down like crabs in a bucket. So I got plenty of songs that break that down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whatever your mind on is what you gonna attract. You know what I'm saying? Laws of attraction go as such. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the way you are on your inside subconsciously, that's what is produced on your outside. So this song right here, I was just breaking it down. You know what I'm saying? In such a way that you think like this, that's why you, your situation like that. But I think like this, that's why my, my situation is like overflowing. I gotta feel like a million bucks if I ever feel like I'm gonna produce a million bucks. So, I mean, man, I had a person say to me that you rich in spirit, even though your pockets may not be overflowing at the moment, but you always gotta remember that you rich in spirit. And I heard her say that and I took heed with probable cause. Although some days I wish I could reach in this motherfucking spirit and pull out a thousand on it. So I humble myself in most occasions, cause I mean, truth be told, man, I'm grateful that I was even able to get this equipment and do this and do that. So someone asked me, what do I do outside of my music? You know what I'm saying? I can tell you just like this, man. I mean, them two P's protect and provide for my family, man. That's what I always am trying to do. You know, I wanna protect them from starving or from poverty or from not having a roof over their head or whatever the case may be. It was certain shortcomings that I had, you know, via this problem and that problem. And I will actually get specific with y'all. I had a gambling problem that was ridiculous. And man, I was messing up a lot. Now, I had talked to my father-in-law once I moved down here about the gambling problem. And he was telling me like, you know, the way he saw it is that I like to take risks anyway. You know what I'm saying? Friendships, relationship, whatever the case may be. And I don't make things go a particular way. And so, man, when he said that to me, it kind of hit me like I needed to be hit. Once I got off of that, man, I mean, I started seeing my priorities. Because in order to get off of it, I totally had to stop working for a little while. It was about a year and four months, man. You know what I'm saying? And some people would be like, man, how could you do that? And you got a family. Well... You know, you got two types of men on this earth. You got the man that's gonna go out there and make a buck and get it. And you got the man that'll allow a woman to go do it and he'll take care of the crib and the kids and stuff, you know what I'm saying, for the time frame. So I kind of shifted my pair down to that real quick. So now I've been working at the same job for two years now, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, you know, I took the risk. Yeah, so it was a month before I had turned the year at this job, man. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get this NPC. So I went out there on a whim and got that. And then, man, I just started building from there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you gotta do things smart. So, I get that they ask other than music, but this is a part that's aligned with it. Uh, also, I like to try and encourage my kids to do music. 
You know what I'm saying? Like things like that, man. So we be going that, going by each other, but they pass me by while I got my setup going. And uh, I be like, man, why don't you get over here and make the beat real quick? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, so that they can see that I'm not necessarily doing something that's just easy as pie, you know, whatever. Uh, then when I got the mic going, you know what I'm saying? Man, uh, I be like, man, get in front of the mic, say this real quick for me. So, you know, it's a lot of things that I try and utilize everybody for. I mean, although all this is still related to music, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, trying to let y'all know it ain't just me. I'm not just trying to be selfish with it, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So, I also spend time with the kids, man. We go uh, lifting weights on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? Doing our thing, man. And I'm trying to get, get back in shape, man. So that way I can start wearing some short sleeves again. And y'all can be like, damn, look at him. He a rapper. Oh, shit. I just want y'all to know and understand, man. I do regular shit. I don't kick it that much. You know what I'm saying? But like I said about the song, you know, you keep your circle a certain way. Because it could be somebody in your circle who thoughts ain't right that's pulling you down. In case y'all didn't know, I had been making music since I was like 12. You know what I'm saying? Like, and bottom line, just constantly doing music in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That's been my motivation. And it allows me to get things off my chest, things like that. How I started making beats, probably in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? I used to roll around with this uh, Casio WK1800. You know what I'm saying? I had a sucker sitting in the back seat of the car in the trunk. I pull up on location with whoever, and she would pull that thing out, man, and do my thing. I'd be sitting there making beats. I used to work at Denny's, and I was making beats at Denny's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, anyway, the customers really enjoyed that, man. We was having good times doing that, you know what I'm saying? And it helped my ideas, you know what I'm saying, kind of like blossom because it would be people in there like, man, that's, that almost sounds the same as the last one, man. You got to do something different. So, you know, they was encouraging me to get out my comfort zone. Can't sit back and just get too comfortable doing whatever it is you do because, I mean, you kind of lose focus if you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, music is a job, man. You always got to stay hot and relevant. So, I try my best to do that. Basically, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it at that right there. You know what I'm saying? Got me, JCAK, Kango Kid. And I mean, I appreciate y'all fans, man. Y'all consistently be like on top of things that I post. Y'all sharing them. Man, I mean, that's love to me. All right, with that being said, man, I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.